Hello, everyone. Welcome to the NBA Rookie Showcase, where we will see the top prospects competing for a top spot in the upcoming NBA draft. This is Kevin Harlan alongside my friend Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. And Kevin, you know, this is a game I always look forward to. I mean, there's excitement and anticipation. There's such a great concentration of young talent. This really begins the process for these young men of kind of measuring themselves against the best players in the world. So I'm looking forward to it. Man, keep in mind, guys, you know, scouts and GMs have watched these players all season long. So this game is very important, but it's really just one more piece of the puzzle. Look at the stars starting group. Michael Kid Gilchrist out there with Thomas Robinson. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then there's Bradley Beal. And it's Leonard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the elites, the kid in its shooting guard. Harrison Barnes is out there with John Henson. And it's Kendall Marshall. And it's Davis in at the five. You look around the gym, uh, a lot of movers and shakers in attendance. <laughs> yeah, you sure are. And if you want to be seen by an NBA front office, this is the place to be. It's just one game, and you've got their full attention. Now, here's Marshall following the shot by Myers Leonard. No good on the triple. On defense, the elites. Lillard dishes to Leonard. It's off his foot. And the ref's whistling a kickball. Leonard sets a screen for Beal. Pass to Robinson. Shoots over Henson. And it's Robinson that time on the assist from Beal. Well, I'm excited to watch Damian Lillard, the explosive rookie point guard out of Weber State. You know, his stock quickly rose last season as he upped his scoring to almost 25 points per game, leading the country. Scouts consider him the best point guard prospect in the draft. Now here's Kid Gilchrist. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. And stolen by Barnes. Davis with it. Now Beal defending. Here's the kid. It's good from about 19 feet. And Lillard's shooting ability, guys, will be highlighted in workouts. I mean, I think in a game like this, he'll try to make plays for others and show how he can run a team. That's been the question mark for him. Now here is Robinson. And hit the turnaround jumper. And that's just one of their first four field goals to begin this game. To the inside, Henson. An easy two points on the layup. Here's Lillard. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. The pass to Leonard. There's the dish to Lillard. Shoots from 14. And the jumper is good. And here comes Marshall. Dishes it to Henson. Over Robinson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, you look at John Henson, junior out of North Carolina. He's got that long, lanky 6'10 frame. Great rebounder and shot blocker. He's going to have to put some weight on. He only weighs about 220 pounds. Uh, but his defensive ability is what's really intriguing. Those long arms can cause nightmares for the offensive player. The first one falls. And Henson, not just a defender, he has shown some ability offensively as well, Clark. You know, Kevin, watching him in college last year, I thought he was one of the most improved players in, in, in the country in terms of knocking down the face-up jump shot and even adding a couple of post-up moves, too. Second free throw, no good. And here's the Stars. They trail by one. Lillard, the pass to Beal. Passes to Robinson. Dashes it down. The defense caught dozing off that time. Now those open dunks, pretty high percentage. Yeah, you're not going to miss many of those. I mean, this is uh, really a poor defensive effort. Here's Marshall. Here's the kid. He feeds it to Davis. Kicks it to Barnes. Just five to shoot. Good luck. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Barnes. 
Davis has got his first two points. Here comes Lillard. Doubled by Henson. He dishes it to Kid Gilchrist. And there's the feed to be. Got a piece of it. It's rebounded by the elites. Here's the kid. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Now, here's Marshall. Guarded closely. He tries for three. That's good. The kid's got five. The Stars trail by four. And Lillard kicks to Beal. And that one's good. And the Elite decide to take their first time out here. We've got 108 left in the first quarter of the game. And you know, there was a time when it might have been hard to get all the top prospects in one gym together to go head to head. Yeah, fortunately, those days are in the past. And for those of us who love the game, it's really such a treat to see these young players come out and compete. Well, it takes a certain skill to be able to spot up and knock down a shot. And that's something that Jeremy Lamb does awfully well. He's got a beautiful stroke. And with that size and length, he can shoot right over the top of the defense. Yeah, he is a long-range shooter. Wasn't as consistent shooting the three his second year at UConn. But nonetheless, this guy has the ability to be an outstanding shooter and scorer in the NBA. And Lamb drops them both. Sophomore Jeremy Lamb out of UConn, a long athletic shooting guard with a nice jump shot and a seven-foot wingspan. You know, those GMs always are looking for guys with long wingspans because it speaks to tremendous potential at the defensive end of the floor. And for Jeremy Lamb, a very nice ball handler, Steve, for a player of his size. Yeah, he's good at changing speed. Uh, he's got a nice in-between game, floaters, pull-ups. Uh, he can mix it up with some hard moves to the rim. I think the biggest question mark with Lamb is just his overall strength. And can he get where he needs to go on the court? The free throw drops for Leonard. <laughs> Leonard hits them both. 50 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's the kid. Pulls it from the elbow. Jones up top. He kicks to Harkless. Second chance shot. And it's Rivers with the rebound. And the Stars leading by five. And slam dunk by Lamb. Yeah, he went for a little extra on that one. Well, he usually doesn't finish soft, obviously. You know, he can when necessary, sure. But not that time. Not when he can throw it down like that. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Here's the kid. Shot clock at six. Drops in the tray. The kid's got eight points. Here's Lamb. Ten hits. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Stars out in front, up by four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Welcome back as we get set to continue with the second quarter of the Rookie Showcase. And this game really a glimpse ahead at the exciting young players who hope to make a big splash this coming season. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Here's the kid.
another miss by the elites. And the Stars leading by six. On the court for the Stars. We've got Michael Kidd, Gilchrist. Damian Lillard out there with Bradley Beal. Then it's Thomas Robinson. And it's Leonard in at the five down low. Now here's Roden. He's covered closely. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's the kid. Now here's Beal. He's got six. He passes to Lillard. Feeds to Leonard. Pass to Lillard. And there's the pass to Beal. Lock at six. With the clock winding down. Goes back up. In deep. Robinson drops it in. Robinson's got ten points. Well, what can you say? I mean, he's good. And he's making sure everybody here knows it. Well, it's been his lifelong dream to play in the NBA. And he's showing he's ready for the challenge. There's the dish to Barnes. Dishes to Henson. Here's the kid. Hits the jumper. Ten points for him. You know what? I've got to admit it. I mean, I've been pleasantly surprised with how well this kid's been playing. Well, not a guy penciled in among those top picks in the draft, but he's certainly been right at the top of, of his form in this game. And it's great to see all the best. Oh, look out, man. Oh, really shaking. Tons of explosiveness on display in this one. Yeah, the youngsters still have plenty of bounce left in their legs. They're kind of showing off right now. The Stars have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six. Marshall with it. Picked up by Rivers. Here's the kid. There's the triple. Gets it to go. The kids got 13 points. They're shooting the ball extremely well right now. They're looking at that three-point shot as a way to get some extra offense and really continue to fortify their momentum. And the Stars leading by nine. Rivers off a pick from Zeller. Rivers dishes to Zeller. Takes it up for the stop. And so, here are the elites. Here's the kid. 30 seconds left to play here in the half. Davis with a screen on Rivers. And Davis throws it down. I'm not sure if any player is going to top that one. Maybe the only play that could beat it is another alley-oop jam. Yep. Even then, it'd be hard to execute it any better than that one. Rivers off a pick from Kid Gilchrist. Here's Lamb. And White kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Leads him in there. Lamb. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Lamb's got eight. That's grace over power, guys. With that finger roll gets him two points. Impressive stuff. Here's Marshall. Good! That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter with a basket. And guys, he got it off just in time. Nice play. And so that's the end of the first half. Stars lead by nine. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. We now return to the rookie showcase and plenty of scouts and GM still in attendance for the second half. And, you know, never too late for these young prospects to make a great first impression. Yeah, still time to show them something, open some eyes, and, you know, that's what they're here to do. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at the elites, the kid in a two guard. Anthony Davis is out there with John Henson. Then there's Harrison Barnes. And it's Marshall in at the point guard position. Beal, the pass to Robinson. Passes it to Lillard. 
Let's the three fly. That's good. Lillard's got 12. And he's managing to do what everyone hopes to do, and that's really demonstrate his talent. Yeah, it's been a good showing for him. A lot of pressure in a game like this, but it seems to have brought out the best in him. Deflects the pass. Leonard with the steal. Pass break. Here we go. And the dunk by Robinson. I'm not sure which was better, the fast break or the steal that got it started. I think it was the defense, Steve, quite honestly. I mean, the whole play isn't even possible if he doesn't make the steal. Leaps trail by 12. Marshall dishes to Henson. Here's the kid. Shot is blocked. You know, and the work he's been doing on the backboards, that's something to see. And especially against this competition. I mean, he's showing he can bang down low. To the middle. Marshall. And Barnes backs in. Davis. He's covered by Leonard. And Henson kicks to Barnes. Here's the kid. Shot clock at five. From 12 feet out. Green for two points. The kids got 15 points. The elites make... the elites with the ball seven point differential here's the kid there's the three but he stays with it outside Davis kicks to Jones he feeds it to waiters another shot gets it to go and now it's only a five-point Stars lead. And we touched on his draft stock earlier. It might be going up the way he's playing today. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, he's been something, hasn't he? Really competing well out there. Here's Lamb. Sinks the triple. Lamb's got 11. Well, I tell you what, he's got a real knack for scoring the basketball. Even against this top-level competition, he's getting his points. And this game, for the players, an exciting moment. That's right, Clark. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't get a lot of attention outside this gym. But for these young men, the importance of these games, absolutely enormous. Lillard with it, guarded now by Marshall. And Lillard kicks to Rivers. Over Waiters. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's the kid from downtown. Rebound by the Stars. White's got his fourth rebound in this one. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category. Really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Here's the kid. He's got 17. That's good. Nine points for Dion Waiters. Well, he's getting it warmed up now after that cold first half. Well, coming out of North Carolina, senior Tyler Zeller, a skilled and mobile seven-footer, can really run the floor. You know, he's not an explosive athlete, but he's active. And as he continues to add strength, I think this young guy has a chance to be a, a, a very good starting center in the NBA. Rivers passes to Lamb. Gets an open look and hits. Lamb's got 13 points. There's 48 seconds left to play in the third. And Marshall kicks to Waiters. To the paint, here's Davis. Good on the shot. Davis has got 10 points in the quarter. Well, going back to Zeller and his draft prospects, size does have a way of rising around draft day. And you factor in his talent along with the size and his ability to run the floor. You can see where how he's valued is well warranted. I mean, he's got a high skill level. He can shoot it. He's an excellent free throw shooter. It's hard to find quality seven footers. And if you can get one, you usually can find good use for him. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Jones dishes to Davis. He's short for the center position, but he makes up for it with tremendous leaping ability. 
They get a hand on it. Here's Marshall. That's good. Now just a two-point Stars lead. Well, they've really picked up the intensity here since halftime. I think they got the peps off of both teams now, really going after each other. Well, that concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. It's the Stars. They lead by a bucket. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Now, let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris? And Kevin, the uncontainable game has come from this star's bench today. Effort and energy, exactly what they're called upon to provide, is exactly what they brought to this game. Coach is thrilled with that kind of effort, guys. And Doris, they've definitely been aided by some tremendous production and help from the bench. Absolutely, Kevin. The reserves have made a huge contribution here tonight just as soon as they were called on. And they haven't missed a beat. I'll tell you what. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Now here's Rivers. D right on him. He dishes it to Lillard. Charity stripe shot. Gets it to go. Looked like the defense kind of backed off and then he took advantage. Guys, we have seen them with a lot of good ball movement. Well, you like the smooth operating they're showing you here. I mean, things are clicking, and more importantly, it makes them tough to defend. Yeah, there's no agenda, and the ball's just moving to whoever is open. And as a result, they've kind of developed a clicking uh, pace to their game. It's been fun to watch. On the court right now for the Stars. Thomas Robinson is out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Rivers in at the two guard. Here's Lillard. The feed to Rivers. Good! It's been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Uh, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. Here's Henson. He kicks to Barnes. There's a good screen. Henson over Lamb. They shoot again. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. That's good for Marshall. This is checked in for Barnes. The Stars also with the sub. Leonard's checked in. Marshall hits them both. And playing in front of all these scouts, there's some pressure to that. But for most of these players, they're accustomed to the spotlight. I mean, they've been doing this for, for much of their young lives. Now, here's Lillard. Pass to Beal. And the rebound goes to the elites. Davis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Beal pulls it in. Beal's got his fifth rebound in this one. Rivers kicks to Robinson. He passes it to Lillard. Puts it up, and he makes good on the way up. Lillard's got nine points here in the second half. Boy, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last ten points they've given up inside in the paint yeah and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense i mean you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket feeds it to rivers to take the lead and it's blocked and they're pushing it up a finish and heartless slams it in he's definitely showing some real sweet dunking skills here are you kidding me oh my gosh what a point yeah that was spectacular over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Rivers passes to Lillard. Makes the alley-oop pass. Robinson misses. 
so hard not to go for it when you see that chance at the alley-oop. Bet he wishes he hadn't, though. There's the pass to Marshall. Here's Davis. And Henson kicks to Harkless. Here's Davis. No good. Now the Stars take it the other way. The dish to Rivers from about 16. And Harkless pulls it down. Tough game for him. Yeah, all the scouts watching. Not the performance he was hoping for. The kid. And laid in to finish the break. The kid's got 19 points. And all 10 of their last points have come inside the paint. So defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, and you got to do a little more to stop it, too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for them. At some point, you just got to buck up and say it's not going to happen. You know, those types of high percentage shots, Kevin, should be a big part of what they do going forward. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the elite's coach as he addressed his team. He said, no time to waste, fellas. We've got to pick it up right now if we're going to make a comeback and try to win this thing. Let's go all out. Back to you. The Stars trailing. Kid Gilchrist with it. This is to Lillard. Back to Robinson. Stolen by Henson. And here is Marshall. Passes it to Henson. Throws up the baseline. Gets it to go. And the elites lead by four. And a nice jump for their offense in the second half. They're now up above 50% shooting for the game. And Steve, it's no surprise to see them in the lead. I mean, when you score efficiently like that, you keep a lot of pressure on the other team. Davis with the bucket. Boy, he's been so cool out there. Composed, never rattled. I mean, a very steady contributor to the offense. Beal dishes to Lillard. Leonard, he's guarded by Davis. Fires from 14, gets it to go. Six points for Leonard. Every once in a while, he'll kind of step out of his role and give you something like that. Here's the kid. Kicks to Henson. Knocked away. Stolen by Robinson. Lillard, the pass to Beal. He feeds it to Leonard. He dishes it to Kid Gilchrist. Now the feed to Lillard. He kicks it to Leonard. Gives him the lead pass. A second chance effort. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Good play from Beal in this one. He has nine points and some good assists too. Four of them. He's getting it done. Making plays by setting up his teammate. And grabbing some nice boards too. Yeah, he's doing all those little things that are so important. It's the first and that narrows the lead down to just three. Barnes, who's checked in for the elites. And both free throws good for Beal. They're in great position now thanks to those clutch free throws. Just a one possession game now. And Marshall kicks to Henson. Pass to Marshall. Lillard with the rebound. Lillard's got rebound number eight now on the night. And Kid Gilchrist throws it down. Throwing it down with one hand and making it look easy. Easy and fun. He just thrives on making the D look silly. Yeah, here. which is something he does pretty often, Kevin. Oh, that's another good rebound for him. Hasn't mattered at all that he's given up some inches to a few of the other guys on the floor. Now, here's Lillard. Tight defense on him. And Beal kicks to Lillard. Over Marshall. Lillard misses. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Hanson sets a screen for Marshall. Inside. Cut! Huge bucket. They don't get much bigger than that, Steve.
35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. From 11 feet away, nails it! And tie game, that is a huge basket right there. Boy, he quieted the crowd with that big shot. That's a big play. Yeah, the crowd's been hoping for something to cheer for, but nothing. Here's the kid. Six on the shot clock. Got it! You know, they've got a foul to give here if they need it. Well, definitely something to keep in mind for them right now. They can be very aggressive. Lillard can't cash in and they commit an intentional foul we will see another one of those so they can get into the penalty yeah no question the right call at this point you can't let them just dribble it out that's right I mean you've got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses and that's an intentional foul And he misses the first one. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a three-point lead. And they tie. Oh, he had a chance there to send it to overtime, but they come up empty-handed. So it's the Elites taking the W in a close one. Well, it was a fun one, but the Elites just had the better day. And they'll have a little bit of bragging rights here over the Stars as the draft nears closer. And although this isn't a league game, you can tell each player out there wanted to win. I mean, no question about it, this was a competitive affair. And there was no shortage of action on either side of the ball. Thanks for joining us for this broadcast of the NBA Rookie Showcase. I'm Kevin Harlan. For Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, we'll see you next time.